Are you a civil or structural engineering student looking to get into the structural engineering industry? Or you're a young professional, you're already a structural engineer and you're looking to get the most out of your career? If so, then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a structural engineer at DCI Engineers here in Southern California and I specialize in new building design. I'll be posting weekly videos on how to get into the structural engineering industry and show you how we actually, how we practically design buildings in the real world. Trust me, it's not what they teach you in school. I'll also be making videos on some of the challenges that I'm facing as a young structural engineer that's getting more and more project manager type of responsibilities. I know when I was still a student and wanting to get into the structural engineering industry, I found it really helpful and I was fortunate enough to have someone that I could ask questions to that was always a couple steps ahead of me. So when I wanted to get into grad school, I could ask them questions about grad school, which ones are good, which ones are not. And also when I was trying to get my first engineering job, it was really helpful for him to show me, hey, these are the good firms that you wanna work for or that align with the type of work that you wanna do. For me, it was really helpful just to have that guide there to, to know that I'm going in the right direction and what it's really like out there in the industry. But I know not everyone has that, and this is one of the reasons why I wanna do this channel, just to get that information out there to show what the structural engineering industry is really like, and if it's for you. I believe that structural engineering is one of the most fulfilling careers that you can have, not just because of the impact that you can make in the world. I mean, just look at any city or neighborhood that you can go to. That was engineered and designed by a structural engineer. But you also get to learn a lot of other skills besides the technical and problem solving skills. By default, you're pretty much gonna get that just by being in engineering. I'm talking about all the communication skills, all the business skills, all the leadership and management skills that you get to develop. To develop. So for example, back in school, I was really shy, really quiet, pretty much a really lousy communicator, but uh, getting these opportunities in my structural engineering career, I kept getting better and better and better at those. And I'm still continuing to get better at those, but I know those are the skills that can help me out in wherever I go in my career and in life. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any content.